What up, Reader Fam? Today I'm going to be sharing with you some series that I don't plan to finish. Now, I've already done a video like this, so I will leave a link to it down below, but after finishing editing and posting that video, I realized, looking at my bookshelf, that there are more series that I don't plan on finishing. So that's why I'm bringing you a bit of a follow-up video today. Now, I'm gonna go over this little spiel again because I feel like people might get offended by this video, which is not my intent at all. I'm not here today to offend you. If I mention one of your all-time favorite series, within this video today, do not take it as a personal attack. We all have different book tastes and it's a-okay if we don't like certain things. And just to put it out there, if you guys don't like my favorite series of all time, I'm more than okay with that. That does not offend me. The first series that I have to share is the Jacoby series by William Ritter. I'll admit that I originally bought this book because of the cover because it is beautiful. This story follows a girl by the name of Abigail who gets hired by Jacoby who is an investigator and she gets hired as his assistant. Jacoby isn't just your average investigator though. He has the ability to see all these supernatural creatures. Together, Abigail and Jacoby take on this case following a serial killer. I read this book back in like 2015 and I just remember feeling okay about it. Oh frick, I dropped it. My bad. That was you trying to get away from me, huh? You don't want me to talk bad about you. I'm not gonna talk too bad about you, okay? I'll be nice about it. There were parts of the writing that just kind of irked me. I remember there being like bits of dialogue that just was like repeated throughout the story and it drove me nuts. And this is a book where after I finished it, it didn't like completely consume my thoughts. You know when you read a book and you absolutely die hard love it and all you can do after finishing it is think about it for days and days and days? Yeah, that didn't happen here. I was ready to move on to the next book after after finishing this one. It didn't leave a lasting impression on me whatsoever, so I do not have any plans to continue on with this series. This kind of feels like a breakup. We are never ever ever getting back together. Next up here I have the Half Bad Trilogy by Sally Green. This story is about a world in which there are bad witches and good witches and we follow this main character who is in between. He's both bad and he's good. Now I had every intent on carrying on with this trilogy after finishing this here first book. Even though I didn't really love this book, I was interested enough in carrying on with the trilogy. But then time Time passed and then even more and more time passed and dust started collecting around the second book on my bookshelf and I began to realize that I would rather spend my time reading something that I know going into I'm going to enjoy instead of carrying on with a trilogy that I'm not 100% sure I'm going to end up loving. And I know that this is a beloved trilogy. So many of you guys have told me how much you love this trilogy. Like I know of a lot of people where if they were forced to trade their entire book collection to keep this trilogy, they would trade their entire book collection to keep this trilogy. That's some mad dedication. But I am personally not one of those people. So I have actually unhauled the second book in this trilogy and I have no plans to carry on reading it. The next one here might be the most controversial one and that is the Fifth Wave trilogy. What's that I hear? People running to click the dislike button on this video? When I originally read the Fifth Wave, it took me forever to get through it. Like I really had to fight my way through this book. And I did end up enjoying it for the most part, but it was a real strug bug to get through. And it's been years since I've read the Fifth Wave. So when I went to read the second book in this trilogy, which I've actually already unhauled now, I tried my hardest reading it and y'all, I just could not do it. I didn't remember any of the characters. I was reading their names and I was like, who this? Who that? I don't remember you. It just had me so confused right off the bat. I was like, did I read the first book? Like I read the first book and I don't remember any of you guys, which instantly that is not a good sign when you don't remember any of the characters. Like, whoa. So that was a major part in me not caring to continue on with the trilogy, but also just right off the bat, I just could not get myself into the infinite sea. So I decided that I do not want to finish off this trilogy because I'd rather focus my reading powers on books that I actually want to read. May you rest in peace, the fifth wave trilogy. May you rest in peace. Peace. Lastly here I have the Ashtown Burial series by N.D. Wilson. In this series we follow these boys who live in this motel with their brother and one day this man comes to stay at the motel and he ends up dying. And it ends up that this guy who died actually had this connection with this society and this society that he's connected to ends up coming hardcore for the boys like they are out to kill them. It's been a minute since I've read this book as you can tell with that janky description. This is a book that I had a fun time reading but not enough 
enough fun times to like want to carry on with the rest of the series, you know what I mean? If I were to pick up the second book today, I would need to reread the first book and like I just don't see that happening. This isn't a book that I enjoyed enough to want to reread it. So unfortunately, this ends our time here series. I will never find out how your story ends, but it's okay. I've come to accept this fate. I just realized that I'm talking to a book, so I'm gonna stop doing that now. So those are just a few more series that I don't plan on continuing. You guys should let me know down below if you have read any of the series that I mentioned in today's video, like you full on completed the series, and what you thought of the series as a whole. Please don't try convincing me to read the series though, because I have already made up my mind. I don't plan on continuing any of the series that I mentioned in this video. You guys should also let me know down below in the comments if there are any series that you are not planning on completing. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. I post videos frequently on this channel, so if you want to be notified as to when I post new videos, be sure and go and hit subscribe, or go and click the little bell icon and you'll be notified as to when I post new videos. Thanks for watching guys, and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye, chew.